Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing the Mirage 2000 against the Rafael. Uh, the Rafael is flown by my buddy Longshot. He's got his own channel. Uh, links in the video description and comment below. So definitely check him out. He's going to be flying the Rafael for us today. Um, I think uh, if we get into a rate fight, he's going to absolutely decimate me in that thing. So I'm going to try my best to keep it one circle, but you know, he can force a two circle. I'm going to try to force a one circle. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. Um, here's the merge. And coming up, coming up, and right there merged. And let's go ahead and force the one circle. I'm going to use the vertical. He's actually dipped his nose a little bit. So he's going to be getting pretty fast as he comes up. All right, let's get him locked up. OK. All right. <sighs> Now I know it looked like I had a shot there, but he was off to the right a little bit, so I don't think that would have hit him anyway. Um, he is coming back down and we're getting into a downward spiral is what I foresee. So I'm going to try to rudder kick it and see if I can make him come one circle with me. But it doesn't really look like he gives a shit. <laughs> He's right back into his raid fight. Now this is really not where I want to be because in the downward spiral I think he'll beat me. So I might have to try to lure him into something. Like look at him, he's already outrating the shit out of me around the circle on the way down. <sighs> look at this. Yeah, he's coming around nicely. seeing a lot of losing cues right now <laughs> all right we're gonna try to switch this up we'll dump the nose and try to pull it around see if he'll take the bait on it and he did not oh he's slotting in oh okay mistakes were made he didn't fall for it he didn't fall for it at all all right continuing to try to force the one circle here Oh, that's not good. All right, by the way, guys, we are running a 20% sale on the merch store. Use code disrespect uh, to get 20% off in the store there. Speaking of disrespect, why is it that every bullet and every missile that hits me hits me right in the face? 
you know what what is that why do they always home into my face you know and every time i shoot somebody else you know i hit them with guns or missiles i always see an ejection seat after that you know everybody gets the punch out except me i don't get that just my luck i guess all right so he can beat me in the one circle he can beat me in a two circle basically he has every advantage so i need to try to force a mistake this is the only thing i can do to try to win this i'm we're in a one circle here and i have to use the vertical if i want to kind of match his turn he's getting a much tighter turn than i was even in a mirage which is uh, quite incredible and uh right here i almost had a headshot there but yeah i gotta try to force a mistake i think it's the only way that i can win a victory here And the good news is that mistakes can often be forced in one circle fights in situations like this. Two circles, you know, people, it's just a raid fight. They just have to manage their energy. With the one circle, you can often find people misjudging the geometry a little bit and uh, giving up opportunities. So that's, that's the good news, one circle, and it's exactly what the Mirage likes to do. So, you know, maybe I can get a little lucky here. That was a bad shot, although I thought he was going to cross the nose there. You can see he's actively trying to avoid the nose, which obviously is the right thing to do. Like right here on the way down. But not much he can do if I can point my nose at him. And this actually looks pretty good. Yes, that, yep. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little smoke trail. That's what I like to see. And the punch out. See, he didn't get shot in the face. He did not get shot in the face. What is that? Why is it always me? who takes a 30 cal, you know, high explosive whatever round to the face. What is that? Must be nice to eject, bro. I wouldn't know. All right, guys, let's do our quick tag view review. We got uh, me in the blue Mirage and uh, Longshot in the red Rafael. Uh, don't forget to show him some love and sub to his channel. Uh, now, one thing I will say about this fight before we get started is he's flying in VR and I'm flying with track IR. So actually, I think this fight is a little bit harder for him. So right off the merge, uh, he goes for a nose down attitude. I try to use the vertical a little bit. And uh, right around here, you know, we, had, we end up with 
what looks like a head-on shot for me. He could have easily denied this by just pulling a little bit harder, um, but he was a little bit low on airspeed here. You can see true airspeed of 196, um, but still, he still manages to just get out of the nose. You can see him trying to pull away from the nose here, and so I didn't have a shot there, and... Then he reverses that, he's still coming one circle. He's flying it like a delta wing, because it is a delta wing. You know, so he's, he's trying to respect the rules of the one circle. And so am I. Um, now at the end of the day, this is a mod, it doesn't represent the full true capabilities of the, of the Rafale, but you know, he's trying to play it like it is, and I respect that. And so right here, um, this is a one circle again. So the one circle is when you keep turning into your bandit like this, you know, so you see us keep pointing our nose. This is a nose position fight. And right here, this is the downward spiral, essentially a rate fight for the most part. And I'm just ruddering, trying to point my nose at him. And here I was hoping that he would dump his nose and come for the one circle. Um, but he did not. He just kind of ignored it and continued with his raid fight, which just resulted in me being further down than I would like to be. You know, in terms of altitude, I try to level it out here a little bit. And here, let's put the labels back on. So you can see I'm pulling 13, he's getting 17. So he's outrating the absolute shit out of me here. And right here, this is, this is the mistake. This is my mistake. I'm already like losing a lot of, I'm, I'm below him, right? I'm below him. He has a bit of an altitude advantage. I dump the nose and I try to cut the circle. I'm trying to cut into his flight path here. And what happens is that reduces my altitude dramatically and he just has to rudder kick and come in behind me. So I definitely misjudged this one. Now this is kind of nice what he does though. Look at how he just slots in behind. Let me get rid of these labels. Let's go back a little bit. Just slides right in. So I try to turn back in, right? Try to maneuver in relation to your bandit. Keep forcing the one circle fight. So when I see him under me, I try to turn into him. And those rounds miss. And continually, I'm just trying to turn into him. Look at how much better he can point his nose, though. <laughs> like, and he's barely got any airspeed. And he's just absolutely destroying me here. And at this point, I'm just trying to stay alive. And then dead. This is the part where, you know, we look back from the cockpit and we just see this. Right before the missiles, or the bullets hit me. So, good kill. Good kill. The long shot. A well-fought victory. Um, big mistake on my part, but you know, you live, you learn. All right, guys, that's going to be the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.